Oh! What's up, YouTube? This is Cultivated Creatures. This is my second attempt at taming this boa that I received. I received this boa probably like four, four feet already. So she is, um, I want to say a sub adult. So um, she hasn't been handled much from the previous owner, but she's beautiful and I'm gonna try to get her tamed down. So I got my gloves, got my snake hook. Most people don't use gloves. They say don't use gloves. I use gloves because I'm not trying to get bit. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but I'm going to use them. All right, so let me get her out. So this is her. Getting a little bit better. She's still kind of stiff. She'll probably try to turn and strike at me like she did before. But with the protective gear, I'm not really worried about it. What I was told was to kind of give her something to support. So I'm gonna lean her on this couch so she feels a little bit safer. I don't wanna to get too close to her head and make her feel threatened. I also don't wanna stand over her too tall and look like a predator to her. So, my man's Jason over at Jason's Exotic Reptiles kinda of gave me some tips on how to Get her loosened up. Now I keep these I keep these sessions short because I don't want to, you know, I don't want her to uh, to get aggressive or get defensive and try to, you know, turn around and attack me or whatever. And it stresses her out and makes it a bad taming session. See, once I get her to calm down. She kind of gets a little bit better and realizes that, you know, I'm not here trying to hurt her. I'm just trying to get cool with her for real, you know what I'm saying? I want her to get cool with me. Because I don't deal with defensive snakes. Not like I don't want defensive snakes or anything like that. But I want all my snakes to be held on a regular basis. I don't just want them sitting in there you know what I mean, and being ornaments, you feel me? So eventually, she'll be to the point to where she's not striking or anything at all. But she seemed like she calming down a little bit. And this is good, this is, a, this is the best, this is the best taming session I've had yet. Even though it's only been two, this is the second one and she already getting better. some support she calmed down I look at it as like a process of both of us working on each other because she teaching me a lot about how to respect the animal it's not being scared it's not being frightened or anything like that but it's just all about respect See how she started S up a little bit? She probably strike. You don't want her to do that. Let her come up out that S. Relax. Those quick tongue flicks mean that she's still a little bit nervous. She's still a bit nervous. Let y'all see her a little closer. She's still a little bit nervous. But she knows I'm supporting her. 
Not gonna let her fall. We're gonna get her back on the couch. So now she feel really calm. I'm not a pro, but if you use these techniques, you can get any snake that eventually tame out. Now she not 100% there, but she will be. I'm gonna go ahead and put her back and end this taming session. She hides under that repti chip. She loves it in here. It's nice, warm. See, I got the temperature and humidity gauge right there on the on the wall. She seems to be doing well in this cell. So. This is her. She's a beauty. Guyana boa, BCC. Just got her uh, last week. She's already starting to tame down a little bit. So I keep the session short and keep them cool. Then I like to leave the top open just so she can see me around and know I'm not a threat. Thanks for watching. This is Cultivated Creature signing out. Comment. Let me know if you guys got any tips on taming techniques and stuff like that or any thoughts you want to share go ahead and hit that comment section up thanks for watching peace